Hi everyone. Today I present to you case study number six regarding the application of the rules of the road at sea between two vessels. A few days back I put up a video which only presented the case study. However, in today's video I will not only present the case study but also provide my analysis of the scenario. If you have watched the case study before and uh, did decide on analysis, you can now listen to my analysis and compare your analysis to mine. So let's get started with today's case study and its analysis. In today's case study, you are the watchkeeper on a cargo ship that is following a busy southwest lane of a traffic separation scheme. You are the watchkeeper on the blue vessel, which is a cargo vessel. On your port bow, some miles ahead, a fishing vessel is crossing the traffic separation scheme on a 90 degree track. It is proceeding very slowly and displaying the shapes and lights of a trawler. At this point of time, I wanted you to answer four questions. Is the fishing vessel complying with the requirements of the collision regulations? In this scenario here, who has the right of way? Is there a giveaway vessel? Is there a stand on vessel? What are your duties on the cargo vessel as the watchkeeper? What should you do? What should your action be? And finally, what are the duties of the fishing vessel? What should the fishing vessel do? I got a few responses from you and now let me present my analysis here. So since the two vessels involved in this case study, the cargo ship and the fishing vessel, they are in the traffic separation scheme. The most obvious way to proceed with the analysis of this scenario is to refer to rule number 10 of the rules of the road which talks about the rights in the traffic separation scheme. Now the question here is, is the fishing vessel complying with collision regulations? Now I mentioned to you that this is a fishing vessel but it was demonstrating or displaying the lights of a trawler. Now technically the fishing vessel should display the lights of a fishing vessel and not of a trawler. Although the action regarding either does not change much for a power driven cargo vessel. However, a vessel should display the lights, the appropriate lights as it is required to depending on its, op for it, on its operation. So if a fishing vessel is engaged in fishing or a trawler is engaged in trawling, they should display the appropriate lights. So the first answer would be that the fishing vessel was not displaying the lights it should be demonstrating. The second thing is that if you refer to rule number 10, rule number 10, especially I, a vessel engaged in fishing is not required or shall not impede the passage of any vessel following the traffic lane. Here, the fishing vessel, by putting itself in a crossing scenario with the blue vessel, the cargo vessel, the power driven vessel, the fishing vessel is not complying with the rules number 10, part I, which says that the fishing vessel or vessel engaged in fishing shall not. So it does not say may not, it says shall not. That means it is not supposed to be impeding the passage of a vessel following a traffic lane, such as the blue vessel. So again, the fishing vessel is not complying with the rules of the road. All right. So the second question is who has the right of way? Now, of course, here the blue vessel has the right of way because the fishing vessel is not required or it should not be impeding the passage of the blue vessel. So the blue vessel here has the right of way. Now I know that in rule number 18, it says that the power driven vessel shall keep clear of the fishing vessel. But when it comes to a traffic separation scheme, you have the right of way. All right. So although in rule number 10, remember, there is no right of way as such. A traffic separation lane does not give you right of way 
over any other vessel except a vessel that is fishing inside a traffic separation lane. That's clear. All right. So if any other vessel was here, there is no question of any vessel having a right of way. The other rules do not apply here. But because this is a fishing vessel, then your vessel or the blue vessel has the right of way. So in this case, what should you be doing? You should be on the blue vessel maintaining your course and speed because it is the fishing vessel's duty to keep clear of your vessel. So you should be maintaining your course and speed and the fishing vessel should be staying clear of the blue vessel here. Finally, what should the fishing vessel do? Well, the fishing vessel should either make a broad alteration and ensure that the blue vessel, the cargo vessel understands her intention of keeping clear or the fishing vessel should reduce her speed to a minimum so as to avoid crossing ahead of the cargo vessel or she can cross the cargo vessel well ahead in time which is not really advisable but because fishing vessels are smaller vessels they have better speeds higher speeds capability of increasing and reducing speed quickly she should i in any way keep clear of the cargo vessel all right so remember traffic separation schemes are established in very busy areas of difficult navigation so you can expect above average density of traffic crossing vessels, fishing vessels and high speed craft. However, in this case, because the fishing vessel is not required to be impeding the passage, the fishing vessels are not allowed to fish in traffic separation lanes. It is her duty to keep clear of your vessel. All right. However, of course, as a power driven vessel, you have to be wary at all times. You have to be alert. You have to keep an eye out on the fishing vessel, but it will be easier for the fishing vessel to maneuver itself out of this crossing scenario. So this was a very simple, straightforward analysis of the rules of the road, specifically rule 10. But the tricky part here was you crossing a fishing vessel or being involved in a scenario with a fishing vessel and you understanding your responsibilities and duties with respect to a fishing vessel. Now what happens is because of rule number 18, many students often get confused and they feel it is their right or their duty to keep clear of the fishing vessel but when it comes to a traffic separation scheme that is not the case this was the tricky part in the case study so let me know what you thought about this video whether it was useful whether it was uh, good for your learning and your understanding of the rules of the road i look forward to your feedback comments concerns queries and i'll try my best to answer them I thank you for watching Thank you for supporting the channel and let me know what else I can do to make your learning better for you to be able to pass your exams easily. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.